Today your plants may be operating well. You perhaps have reached a level of performance where you are satisfied. Your plants producing product and your customers are satisfied. Reducing costs is always a goal, but sometimes difficult to achieve. We recognize that you face many challenges in your operations today and may be a distraction um, towards your drive to reach peak plant performance. All industry companies are striving to improve their business performance. Along the journey, there is many challenges uh, that often get in the way. Not all of these challenges are easily put into business value terms. For many of these, you can quickly see the challenges require the improved performance of the assets the company owns or will acquire. Striving to maximize asset capability throughout the life cycle of assets is essential. I want to introduce a de definition to you of maximum asset capability. Uh, this is in terms of a uh, production assets. Uh, for a defined production unit or a logical aggregation of units in a process cell, the maximum production output which has been demonstrated for a sustained period of time, like for example 30 days. Uh, this is to be distinguished from the maximum design capability, which is the theoretical production output as calculated by engineering design principles. Output must be produced within the quality specifications under normal operating conditions and in compliance with all environmental health and safety regulations. In many manufacturing enterprises today, the actual plant performance is not well known, let alone the plant's asset uh, maximum capability. In, in order to find out where, the best, where best to invest capital, it is important to find out where the gaps in the performance are. Operations management uh, can use this gap analysis to determine which investment will produce the most business improvement opportunity. No enterprise has an unlimited amount of capital to invest. Investment alternatives always need to be considered. So with a limited amount of capital invest, where do you, uh, where do you start? So before evaluating plants to determine the gap between their maximum asset capability is and what their level of current performing capability is, uh, you need to understand where it fits into your corporate governance process. Since the focus of this is operational assets, then the individual plant assessments and analysis will allow operations management to compare various improvement options on a return on asset basis. In other words, a quantified business value assessment. Plant assessments will reveal the gap between the maximum asset capability and the current asset performance. Plants and sites performance need to be assessed to determine the opportunity for value creation versus risk. Of course, these assessments need to be applied with the corporate governance discipline so that the investment choice will optimize the value of the project portfolio over the horizon of the project or projects. Using plant performance metrics based on maximum asset capability assessments allows you to view available options that could improve the bottom line and improving the value created. Investment period issues such as reducing cost or shortening project time as well as the return period uh, issues such as being able to sell more or for longer as well as producing product earlier are typical outcomes of the assessment quantification.
When you take a look at traditional view of the source, make, deliver model, it becomes clear that it requires the synchronization, orchestration, and management of business processes across the enterprise. These processes include people and systems and are both internal and external. In order to improve this, you need to know and understand the contribution made by the production assets that are involved in converting the raw materials into the finished products that are delivered to your customer. Information is also essential to modern manufacturing. Information drives manufacturing. The information is essential for equipment, the people, and the processes to perform to their optimum. But information must be available in the context of what is happening at the particular point in time when the information is used. Modern manufacturing systems is both a generator and a consumer of information. And these systems are essential to making the entire value chain work. If you look at um, automation as a manufacturing asset, of, of course, it is, um, it is one of the main manufacturing systems. The, in major projects, the capital expenditures that are associated with automation purchase is typically 2 to 4% of the total project. However, our research shows that a well-implemented automation project can have a much larger impact on operations in the range of 15 to 30 percent. Automation often is taken for granted, but it is, but it can reduce the risk over the life of the plant. In addition, selecting a modern automation system can provide opportunities to improve the operations over time. As new business requirements occur. But before you make the selection or even before you decide to spend capital, you first need to thoroughly assess the impact that such an investment will have in moving from your current plant performance to your plant's maximum asset performance. Often organizations wait until there is a problem before getting started. We believe that this not only adds unnecessary risk, but it also wastes opportunities to increase the value created in your production facilities. Waiting becomes an opportunity loss situation. Alternatively, one could embrace a holistic asset lifecycle investment approach. This involves measuring and applying stochastic models to view the real life performance in net present value terms, or in other words, in business terms. The NPV calculations need to look beyond just the potential project cost. They need to include yearly capital expenditure levels, including a realistic estimate of end of life. And then of course, to complete the model, you need to look at what is it going to cost to retrieve uh, this asset performance improvement. When a process, production process is designed, there are hidden or contingent processing capabilities, which when unleashed can improve productivity as well as the quality of the output. Through the plant performance assessment and analysis, we call the process flexing the plant to achieve maximum asset capability. The analogy is building up and flexing your manufacturing muscles using the original body, or in this case, the original machines and production equipment. The plant or machine is based on the engineering principle that when designing a process, there are hidden or contingent processing capabilities that you need to, um, you need to take advantage of 
to improve, improve your production performance. Especially in licensed technology, there are conservative factors built into the warranted design. So as the process is utilized, capability changes over time, either positive or negative. The results can be underperformance of your uh, designed process, or in some cases, overperformance, but it's not sustainable. Finding the windows of opportunities to create for value creation allows, allows the plant asset capability to be improved. Often, but not always, a control system migration is an opportunity uh, to reevaluate and reset operational expectations based on sound engineering and redesign. Sometimes the opportunity to add value is a software change or application modification. This is often least expensive investment opportunity. However, if you don't do an assessment of your plant's performance and these opportunities, pot potential, you just won't know the quantification of these opportunities. Once the plant assessments are completed, it will be relatively straightforward to compare opportunities directly on your net present value or projected ROA. Project justification will come through these quantified improvements, such as um, remove the asset performance gaps. In other words, uh, a large amount of business improvement value versus a small amount of capital expenditures. And along with this comes health, safety, environmental risk reduction, uh, reliability improvements, uh, better maintainability, and better internal uh, capabilities using utilizing uh, better information, better technology integration, and better data transparency. The key, is, the key assessment results is to quantify the investment op options that solve defect and performance gaps found with, with existing legacy systems. The project must be set up with the key stakeholders from the various management teams that will be impacted by the decision of the teams. Of course, the project has already been approved by the corporate governance process, and now the team has to decide what has to be done and how to do it. This is an example of a project that required a control system upgrade or uh, migration of the control system. It was determined that the legacy system was too old to support or maintain, and improvements uh, that and, and improvements that the assessment showed um, could be made if this migration occurred. Since the team knew the value that could be created through the assessment process, it was relatively simple to get management uh, to approve to spend the capital necessary to complete the project. And you can see that the simple payback was in uh, less than two years. So in conclusion, um, to be sure you are successful, these steps are suggested. First of all, utilize the plant performance assessment. It's based on experience. It's based on field-proven tools and a field-proven process. It enables investment opportunities comparison in quantifiable, quantifiable return on asset terms. Follow a solid project process. In other words, uh, develop the concepts, engineer it, 
construct it, train people, start up, and so forth. Balance the risk versus the reward. Not all project opportunities are equal. So you have to look at the risk of one project versus the, the reward compared to others. Uh, take, the, take deliberate action and maintain teamwork. Set predefined goals and objectives. Use technology to review, to renew, excuse me, renew standards, your own standards for operation, for example. Remove performance gaps and solve the tough problems. And by the way, when you put this in practice, it's a continuous improvement process, not just a one time only. Finally, uh, balance the organization, both the, both the uh, organization people, but the technology and the operating needs to achieve success. So right now, the question is, are you able to quantify your plant's performance and the risk factors today? If you're not, let's talk. Thank you.